Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are out on site assembling a 22 foot long, maybe a little longer by the time we're all done, by 12 foot wide floating patio. This is gonna be a really cool project. We'll show you the bits and pieces along the way. I think you're gonna like this. It's going on that beautiful pond over there, spring fed, crystal clear. It's just gonna be a swimming, floating, fun raft. We have Mr. Marty, River, and the wonderful Miss Corey behind the camera. We're gonna get to work. So here's what we got going. Marty and Corey stripped this old, it's gotta be from the 70s. This is an old boy pontoon. These two pontoons are going to be center pontoons on this 12 foot wide raft. They're smaller diameter, so we gotta push them down a little bit to get in the water more. But those are gonna go underneath. Here, they're gonna stick out about four feet, and that's gonna create a really cool swim deck on the back here. So we're gonna actually have a, a about a four by eight or four by six swim deck that sticks off the back. What we're doing on all these, Corey's drilled all of these. They're a three inch by two inch uh, square tube, a rectangle tube. We're bolting the outside. And then the faster, easier way to do this is to weld. So we're just MIG welding the inside tube together. That way we don't have to put a hole through the top and get access or a hole through the side. Because there's 13 or 14 of these going to be faster, easier, just as strong as not stronger to weld them all in. That's where we're at. River, what was that? River said that he thinks it's going to cavitate. We're back at it, day two on the giant floating patio. What we've done to this point, all of our cross members are in. We took those old pontoons, and if you look down inside here, we added some of that old U-channel to the tops of the pontoons. That's what we're gonna weld to the cross members. And we're gonna ratchet strap this up, get it centered the best we can, and then we're gonna weld this, this center raft, essentially, right to the frame. It's never coming apart. It's gonna sit on that pond for the rest of its life. Oh, come oh, oh on. Remember the day Marty got fired? Yes. You're holding the next one. Okay. That's good. There is the 22 foot long by 12 foot wide floating patio. Yes, those center pontoons are smaller diameter. They won't be as far in the water as the outer because the outers are ginormous 25s. But the more people you add to the boat, the more that those center pontoons are going to play in to how this thing performs, which is going to be awesome because that's a ton of buoyancy. This is the platform for the swim deck that will go off the back. So lots done in the last two days, day and a half. We gotta get this down by the water so that we can put deck and vinyl on it. 
Uh, and then the reason we're gonna do that is because this weighs, you know, right now probably about a thousand pounds, but we're gonna add another thousand pounds in wood and vinyl. So let's get it down where we can move it into the water easier. Good morning, Tom's tunes. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Barry's a man of few words, but when he talks, you better be listening. We're back, day three. We're gonna deck and vinyl. I'm kind of thinking it's called Quadzilla because it's four pontoons, but our customer dragged it down to the water, which saved us a bunch of work this morning. He got it done last night. We're in a great spot to get it put together. So we're gonna deck it, vinyl it. We're gonna put the deck trim on, the rub rails, and then hopefully start building the gazebo or even finish that so we can install that tomorrow the trolling motor this is kind of like moving day of the project we're gonna get a lot done today river do you have anything to say Here's an update. We've got the vinyl flooring on. I'm working on the deck trim. Got to cut some angles for these back corners. We'll corner cap it. That'll be done today. And the gazebo structure is beginning to be built. Corey and Marty are chipping away at that. So that's going to go on the beautiful quad tune raft. Just an uh, hour or two in this morning. Marty's uh, already having a rough day. <laughs> now, it's moving right along. Trolling motor will get bolted on soon. Progress. 36 volt Tarova trolling motor was taken off of that boat and put on this boat on a quick release bracket so in the winter it can come off. We have the new dock box that's got a whole 36 volt system with a charger and everything in there. Uh, so we're getting there. Structure's up, trolling motor's on. It's time to take all these roof panels and put them into position. And then this is a wrap on Quadzilla, the quad pontoon. That is a wrap on a 26 foot long, 12 foot wide, we got the whole gondola up. It's got a mosquito net that goes all the way around. Tons of shade now, tons of space for chairs and everybody to hang out. It has that 36 volt Troy motor. No gas motors on this perfect clear water. Do you see how big old blue go right there? That is the party boat. We're gonna take it around for a spin and probably for a dip. Let's go. Does it have a name? Ooh. All right. I named it Quadzilla.